It is a state law designed to save taxpayer money and clean up our waterways, ridding them of hazardous, derelict boats. Yeah, now one year into the program, ABC Action News anchor Lindsay Logue finds out if it's working or just a waste of time and money. Life on the water, for many, is the life. We asked a few people at Bay Pines. It's a very nice houseboat. What's not to love? It's beautiful. Other than a few derelicts that people keep leaving behind. Oh, it's gotten worse. A lot worse. Abandoned boats litter Florida's coastline. The problem isn't new, but a law to crack down on the owners is. It's enabled us to be able to start getting awareness of the owner a little sooner and maybe have them correct this action before they become derelict vessels. The at-risk vessel law went into effect July 1st, 2016, and for the first time, boat owners who abandon ship are fined. The awareness of us being able to say, hey, listen, you're gonna get a $50 fine, let's make some corrective action, it works. And that $50 jumps every month, the owner does nothing. So far, law enforcement has cited 166 boat owners across the state. It's only a fraction of the number of derelict vessels, but FWC says it's a start. It's constant monitoring. It really is. Removing them is expensive and the process lengthy. And while they're just floating here. So this sailboat here has been documented. They're a huge environmental hazard, not to mention dangerous. If you came across that flat at night, you'd run right into it. That's the bad part. The good part, a plan to hold boaters accountable when seas get rough. The state legislature this year awarded a $1.4 million grant to FWC. That money will help them remove the derelict boats. Back to you.